Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I've got a DIY for you. This is going to be a Dollar Tree porch gnome. What? Crazy, I know. And it's going to be pretty tall. I'm super excited about it. So let's go over the materials I'm using and then I'll give you some ideas on things you could use if you can't find what I have. First off, I have three scarves. I think this will be enough because it has a good stretch to it. Um, so three scarves of this, I think it's like Nordic pattern, I don't know. To make the hat, you can use any fabric you want. The concept will be the exact same. Um, I got a t-shirt and look, it's got like, we don't care. So I got a t-shirt. I have some of this 15 foot garland and some of these ties to combine to make the beard. Um, for noses, we have, ooh, <laughs> skills may, a variety of things. We've got ornaments you could use as a nose. I bought this pom-pom because I think I'm going with like a black and white theme to use as a nose. You could use a jingle bell or a nose. Look how big that one is. Um, there's ornaments you could use. Like these red ornaments would look cute. I'm trying to make this more winter than Christmas, but if you were doing Christmas, how about one of those big globe uh, bulbs as a nose for your gnome? I mean, there's so many things you can use, just kind of depending on the direction that you're going. So I think that's it for Dollar Tree items. And then your wire nips. I used some wire to hold the top on. Um, I have fabric scissors and not fabric scissors to cut this t-shirt, my glue gun and glue sticks. And then the body is two of these wire trash cans and then one of the hanging baskets for the top just to help shape the top. If you can't find this specific makeup, you could use three flower pots. You could use three trash cans. Any shape will work. This is what I had on hand. And actually, this was spent the summer on my front porch. I'll make a new one next year because I'm going to have a gnome on it. And then the flower pot fits perfect. This hanging basket fits perfect. But again, if you don't have the stuff, you could stuff the hat with newspaper or fabric or something to make it stand up. You do not have to have this exact stuff. Um, I, like I said, I'm going black and white. You could do whatever color you want. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to get this mess out of my way. I'm going to turn the camera. We need to cut this t-shirt. I'm going to cut the arms off and then hot glue the whole shut. And you'll see in a moment why we're going to do this. Take your tags off. I suppose you don't have to. I'm still sipping on my tea. In my llama cup and I you're gonna see on this surface I picked up this table guard from the children's section but it's disposable there's measurements on it it will there's a adhesive on the back that can stick to your table it's pretty darn nifty for a dollar I'm thinking I need to go pick up a couple more from the more messy crafts and maintenance stuff I do all right let me flip you around so we can work with this t-shirt that's step one Got this t-shirt, it's a Hanes. I picked up an extra large and it seems to be working, it'll work perfectly. So the first things I'm gonna do is turn it inside out. Oh, and I didn't tell you, you need a rubber band for the bottom and I'm gonna hot glue it too, but a rubber band I think is gonna be ideal to hold this in place. Okay, so I have my shirt inside out right now what I want to do is just make sure you're lined up your seams. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I may reuse some of this black t-shirt in another one of my gnomes. So I took my fabric scissors. I'm cutting the arm off. And I will put that to the side. Then all I'm going to do is hot glue this shut. So I'm going to open it up here. I'm going to run a bead of hot glue and just shut it. And this way, if you don't want to cut the arm off, you can just tuck it in. But I'm afraid it's going to fall out. So, there. Easy as that. You just want a straight line. And like here, it didn't quite close up. 
it's hot glue guys you can do all the things if you're more comfortable sewing it you can do that too if you want this to maybe last a few years I don't know how long this will last it's gonna be on my porch now my porch is covered so that's a benefit there all right let's do the other armhole so that might take a minute to figure out the best angle so you can see what I'm doing. Right, the second all I'm doing is flipping it around. So now we have some semblance of a straight seam over here. See how it goes straight now? This is gonna be the body, guys. So we have his arm straight. Let me um, get you a new angle and we will start constructing the body. Okay. So I have my frame, I know it's gonna be hard to see, but here is the flower top and the two cages. And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna dress our little gnome. I'm gonna put the hat on him, or the shirt. What I want to do is pull this all the way down through the neck to pull out the, and it's gonna be nice and tight, which is what we want. Okay, yeah. oh, too far, but that's okay. This could be the front. And then we have our arms here because we're gonna need to get to some of this. So here he is, let's turn him over. And then what I'm doing, I'm not sure how to get you to see this, I'm, tuck I'm just pulling the bottom. Right? Pretty tight. And I'm gonna attach it with a rubber band. And that is it. And then it goes, when he sits up, it'll just go up inside of him. Now, if you want, you could glue this, you could sew it, all the things I don't want. And then I'm just tucking in these little side arms. I'm just gonna get tucked in and that is his body. Is that not adorable? What we're gonna do, and I'm gonna show you one, and then we're gonna attach them to the gnome over here. But I cut a piece of this 15 foot garland, a little bit longer than the length of the gnome, because we want to tie on these, which are the garland ties. And I'm doing it very simply. I'm picking a spot to start, and I'm just twisting. And just make sure it's twisted pretty tight, and then you really want these guys to kind of lean downward, but we'll fluff it at the end. So I'm not too concerned about that. And we're doing multiple layers. So I already made four. This is the fifth bow, if you will, you know, like tree boughs. That's going to make up his wintry beard. And the black body, I think, especially outdoors, just helps kind of keep everything looking decent and you won't see all the little issues I don't know that I'm gonna have issues but if I do so one two three four five we're gonna put seven on this one and I'm just tightening them down if they're not perfectly in half again we're layering here so this is what it's going to look like before we attach it like a really sparse Dollar Tree tree and then we're just gonna kind of, cause his beard will grow downward. And I'm trying to mimic one of those um, gnomes that you make with actual um, greenery, but that's expensive. So this is what they all look like right here. And we are going to attach them to the front of this frame. Now this is the top of the gnome, top of the basket, top of the t-shirt. Here is how I attached them so far. So we'll do the tippity top first. And this one is just gonna go right in the center of, ooh, and I'm feeding it through the basket. And then just wrapping it around the top. So remember the hat is gonna go to like here. And that's just gonna kinda hang. And then we have two more. 
And I think one should go right here on the side. And I'm just twisting them. I'm not even, I'm just using the wire of the garland. And once I get them all situated, we'll um, glue them at the bottom. And then this one will come, this is the last one. He will come right on this outside. How fun is this, guys? I think this is going to be completely adorable on my front porch. So all of the green is on here. And that's just the front of the body. And we're going to bring you down lower. And we're going to show you how I attach it to the bottom and trim them up. So that's the next step. And again, sorry about the weird lighting. So this is the first piece on the outer side. I'm measuring it to the bottom, taking my sheer nippers here, and I'm just nipping it off so that it reaches the bottom. I don't want it to drag the ground. And then to tack it in place, I'm just sticking some hot glue on the t-shirt. And for now, we're just going to tack the bottom of that bow, bow, I guess it's called. And then let that do its thing. And while that's happening, I'm just going to fluff this one. I want them down and towards the back so they look neat and tidy. And that's this one. So we're going to go to the front one, which is here. The other two I've already attached to the back. Um, normally I work around the nose, but in this situation, I'm not going to do that because I the nose is probably going to be the next step, but it certainly is not, um, I'm not putting this greenery around it. So here's the front. And you could also just attach the glue to the piece of greenery and tack it down. When I'm able to get a better view of this, you'll see how adorable this little guy's going to be. And if you feel like these are loosening up, just tighten them down. So we have our last one. Everybody else has been attached. And this is going to look like his beard. Isn't that exciting? Now this one's a little long at the bottom, so I can just trim that. We're going to just trim this. And that's the beauty of all of this. I can just trim it to fit once it's hung. Ooh, I don't want to ruin those. I mean, I'm not ruining it. I'm just getting hot glue on it. There. And then we're going to kind of just get these guys to bend back a little bit. So they're not sticking out. And if you want, you could totally attach all of this with hot glue. I would, I'm not going to do that. I want some movement and freedom in the beard. Ooh, you get back in there. I didn't let them dry completely or cool, I suppose. But you just want all of these guys. I really want them to kind of curl in onto the body. But you do you. If you want a totally messy beard, go for it. There we go. And then I have him down here. And that's his beard, guys. Isn't that fun? I may end up tacking like right here down. Yeah, he's sticking out a lot. So let's... Thank goodness for glue guns, right? And then let's just get you in here. So we're going to attach him. He won't be all up against the body because the t-shirt is not. You could also forego the t-shirt and just spray paint this whatever color you like. See how it's attached to the shirt now? So I think we'll just tack it in a few spots. And then the next step is to put the nose on and then we're going to create the hat. Right? Because he needs to have his Nordic little hat. So we got that going. I am so excited about this. And I'm excited that it's not going to cost me a million dollars to go out and buy a bunch of greenery that's just going to die. There. 
Now the next thing, while this is all drying, and you could put like little farm, like little critters in here too, but I won't do that probably either. I'm just going to cut off this pom pom from the elastic. I'm going to find the center here, so let's do that. And where should his nose go, guys? Right here. Yeah, so let's move a couple of these pines away and we're gonna attach it right here in the center. And this is gonna take a fair amount of glue, not gonna lie, because it needs to stay. So we'll let it cool. I have a fair amount of glue on here. We found the center we think is right here. And now he has a nose. And then we'll just take this and go around his nose so it looks natural. Look at that. Now we're starting to get a gnome. How exciting. And then from the back, it's just black fabric. But on the front, and I will obviously get you a better view of this. But let's move this out of the way. I'm going to clean up and then we're going to make his hat. All right, we're going to attach the scarves together. I'm trying to match up the pattern as you know, best I can down here to um, so the hat looks good. But I'm attaching it to about this point. And this from here up is where I will cut it to make it pointy, you know, like a Nordic hat but I want to make sure that it's thick enough at the bottom to cover up, oops, all those, ow, pieces. There we go. Okay, let's just not stick our entire body in the hot glue, guys. I hope this is coming across easy for you because it's really super easy. Then the last thing we're going to do is attach together here. And I've made a loop because I only need three scarves. So what I need to do is make a loop before I start cutting everybody. You know, cutting it to fit. To make the point and then attach that. I need to make sure that the bottom piece is secure. And you always want to make sure if you miss a spot of glue, it's okay, but probably want to go back and get it. And then you just lay this over. This is the one thing with the glue gun. Can you sew this? I get that a lot. Absolutely, you can sew it. If that is your thing and you have a sewing machine, go for it. I do, um, but I'm not because... Um, I want this to be all Dollar Tree. So, got everybody laid out nice and flat. So we have these two scarves laid out and then this one is in half. It's not gonna be imperative if they're not perfectly pointed, but we want a decent hat. So let's come around here. See if I can get you higher. Now this is the bottom and my glue goes to about this pattern right here. So I'm going to fold it one more time over this way. Um, and then I'm going to flip it because I need to see where that's only half cut. And then how long do we want this to go? I'm going to make it pretty long. And this is why I'm using also my sewing scissors. But he needs to have a pretty long hat, I think. So we'll just keep going straight. But at a little bit of an angle. This is so forgiving. All right, there we go. And that's the scrap. And let's unfold it. And I can show you now where we'll need to glue it. So this seam here will need glued. And then on this seam, there's three spots that don't need to be glued. So we're gonna do this outside seam. And look how wobbly it is, we don't care. This is the inside that we're working on and we're gonna flip it. So it's gonna get seam 
glued all the way up the top and we're not going to do it in one shot. Here we go. And we're just seaming. Oop, more glue. I'm going to have to start taking stock and hot glue, guys. And then we're just going to piece pinch this together. And again, if you're a sewer or if you have want to hand sew it, you can. But there's our hat. And this is what's going to go around and it'll roll up. And then I have some white or black yarn. All right, let's roll this over and hope for the best, shall we? I'm just turning it inside out. Okay, and that's the point. And here is his hat, and look at it. We'll put that on the inside. You know, with the three seams, like this will probably be the front right here. So, and how I matched up my patterns, pretty good. They're not perfect, but they're pretty good. Let's bring him up and put his hat on. This is the top, here's his nose. So I want two. And, you're, and you have to kind of stretch this, unfortunately or fortunately, and if it, pops just glue it back together but I don't think it's going to this is some pretty stretchy fleece um up here and he has his little hat on now and I'm just putting it up and over all of this and if you can push it in because guys this is like it this is easy peasy this is your own little project you can make it however you want. <gasps> Look at him. I don't even think I need fluffy around his nose. And then down here. Oh, guys, isn't that adorable? And then I just need to tack his hat down and probably fluff him up just a little now that everything is in place. And I'm going to put him on my porch and take you on a tour. But he is adorable. Maybe I'll put his hat this way. Yeah, I like that side better. And then we'll probably like attach it maybe or just put a bow or a pom-pom or a jingle bell or something on the bottom. And we have to get his little face covered. Oh, isn't that adorable? Guys, this is cute stuff. I hope you love it. I will show you the finished product here in a minute. And here he is, my Nordic porch gnome, made out of all Dollar Tree materials. <gasps> Guys, I'm in love. He's so cute. And then there's my rug, my Believe sign I made last year, my wreath, my greenery, which needs to be fixed a little bit. Oh my gosh, but look at him. He is adorable. And he is going to look so cute sitting here all winter long. He'll need some friends, but I'll work on that. But I hope you enjoyed this and you make one too. I'll talk to you later. Bye. What you doing, buddy? Dobby. And there's Alex. You're probably just going to get a reflection of me in the window. There's Alex and Dubbers. He wants to go in because he's cold. You want to go inside, baby? Or scratch on my rug. You want to go inside? You want to go inside? Yeah.